all right so we have heard enough about blockchain layers and dApps all right so let's break it down and understand how exactly it works and we'll practically see that as well all right so let's begin so um, I'll make use of some diagrams very quickly to understand it and the very bottom we have our network layer okay so on the very bottom of the blockchain we have our network layer which is basically our p2p network okay and in this p2p network what we have is basically nodes okay we got all the nodes connected in p2p model okay we'll be talking about it in further layers uh, next we have our consensus layer all right so consensus layer right so what really happened on the consensus layer is basically that's where the agreement happened among all the nodes you see in the blockchain all the nodes the, the network itself is decentralized in nature that means all the participant or all, all the nodes who participate in the blockchain own is, is like an owner into the network so how exactly they agree on certain task or activity in a very specific or technically speaking how they decide which block to be created right so that's all happen on the consensus and that's where you find multiple consensus for a, a bitcoin that's proof of work there's proof of stake there's uh, you know designated proof of stake as well there is uh, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of method in fact bft method as well these are all methods to make sure all the nodes agree on it and it's really it's actually needed because we are uh, having a decentralized network on top of it then we actually get our application layer okay this is what we call the application layer the first one is the network second is our consensus third is our application layer and that's where you find our dApps that's where you find your decentralized application all right so you see your brave browser application you might have heard about many application in fact open c that's pretty uh, pretty popular now because of the nft platform largest nft marketplace i would say and there is um, uh, many other as well pancake uh, methods uh, uniswap which is pretty much popular again for, for for swapping your cryptocurrency and liquidity provider all, all of them joined together it's a kind of a DeFi platform in a way okay so this is how the blockchain blockchain layers really looks like and what you see at the end it's here this is where user interact the normal user interact to it okay now you may ask uh, you know how exactly it really looks like on the device on the node itself okay so when you look at the node it looks very different on the node this is my node or we can we, we can as we can consider as simple as your computer but of course having you know more resources more ram more cpu and all those stuff right of course the gpu so then on top of it then you install the node software it could be ethereum go it could be it it could be node software right so if you go with the ethereum so you have to install the ethereum client if you go for any other node so you have to install that blockchain node into it right so let's um, let's consider we install ethereum so the moment you install the ethereum you basically install the evm of it right so that's basically e ethereum virtual machine uh an environment evm is a basically again a software an environment where actually your smart contract runs so that's where your smart contract come into the picture so your smart contract basically basically runs or i would say deployed in the evm and once it deployed then you get your uh, opcode created right so and on top of it then you basically have your dap right usually we write it as dap okay so you get the idea right 
this is where your network layer comes in into the picture and in fact evm itself has a capability of how the consensus really works and then on top of it you have your application layer and in between you have your consensus which take care of everything sometime you you know people also talk about it okay it's, it's near smart contract is pretty near to the app because that's where it more interact but in a generic note this is how exactly it works all right so let's practically understand how this would really looks like okay so if i go to if i go to you know any platform it's a very popular platform in a way uh, i'll make use of a site called dap radar okay if you go to a site called dap radar this is where you find all the all the decentralized application okay and if you explore you get the idea right you get once let's say you want to know all the decentralized application running on ethereum just click on it okay and you get to see all the ethereum based application based decentralized application you can see the open c right so when you go to the open c you get the okay let me keep it this way all right so when you go to the open c let me open this site uh this is where your actual network comes in. this is where your uh, actual interaction basically plays it now this is your dap right and uh, if you being a user your dap need to talk to your smart contract on the bottom layer and in the consensus as well and what is consensus it's in agreement right so at this moment i see open c just like any other application just like you might have might have seen any other application like a web application like Udemy or uh, I'm just taking an example CNN Google maybe Yahoo and all those stuff right so exactly the way it also looks at right but what makes it very different what makes it very interesting is you can interact to this application you can only interact to this application by making use of a wallet right that's important for a user so you see a metamask on the top of it we can cover about metamask in probably another session but for now just keep in mind that this is how you can uh, you know talk to any application so once you need to talk you once you decide you need to talk to this application you can open this metamask wallet and this would basically establish the communication with you and the dap and then it would talk to the rest of the network from smart contract to the the message would go to even blockchain as well so this is how the communication between the nodes the blockchain and the user really works and this is how the blockchain layers basically uh, you know come into the picture while having any kind of transaction into the blockchain world all right so i hope you got the idea throughout uh, of, with the, this example if you also try to look at what different uh, dapps we have for the other blockchain as well you can even try this website to get the idea about eos you can also look for near protocol which is now really booming up um there's avalanche as well you you get to see polygon which is again pretty popular you can look at any any this this all application this all dapps are basically based on polygon so if you go to those, those sites you get to see this looks very similar to it this is kind of a mobile game crypto rewards project and this looks very similar but when you want to uh, interact with this application you can't really simply create a sign in form or you can't really uh, you know submit your email id and password and can start talking to it you have to talk to it uh, with the help of some wallet right so when i launch it i have to connect my wallet you see this i have to connect my wallet and this will send a message this will send a, a kind of a message to my wallet that's where i have to authorize it and i have to approve the transaction so sometime if you are on the right network it might approve but because i'm actually on the ethereum network my my wallet is configured to be only work on the ethereum blockchain but this application is working on the polygon so i won't be able to establish the communication so that's very very important it's it's this is what you really have to keep in in mind if the application if the dap is working 
on a specific uh, a network let's say a polygon so they it can only talk to the network if you are ready if you are configured your wallet under polygon network but of course don't worry about it in the further session we'll definitely talk about how to have inter blockchain communication and what the, the different other how those protocol really works like cosmos and even um, that's very interesting polka dot as well so we'll be covering that point as well all right so i hope you got the idea if you have any question related to this you can ask me in the comment i'll see you there thank you